Hello friends, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? If you're doing well, you can show me with a thumbs up like this. If you're feeling okay, you can show me by putting your thumb in the middle. And if you're not feeling very well, you can show me with a thumbs down. But hopefully after circle time is over, you'll be feeling better. So let's get started with circle time. Let's begin with our good morning song. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly our airplane to one side, fly the airplane to the other side, fly the airplane to the middle, and bring your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now take that circle up over your head and stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side. Nice stretching, friends. One last stretch up at the top and we'll bring our circle back down. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, let's quickly turn on our listening ears, put on our thinking hats, and the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me how we warm up our hearts? That's right. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready to start circle time. I'm getting my pointing stick and I'm going to bring it up to the top of the chart. Right up here, we recently started a brand new month. Do you remember what the month is called? May. That's right, friends. The month is May. Today is May 4th. So I'm going to move the chip over from yesterday Yesterday was May 3rd. Today is May 4th, 2021. But you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. Will you say the date with me one more time? Today is May 4th, 2021 or 2021. All right, let's see those counting fingers and give them a little stretch. We need to count all the days that we've had so far in the month of May. So let's start off at the top with the number one, two, three, four. We have had four days so far in the month of May. And now friends, we are going to sing the Days of the Week song. So can you show me how many fingers we should hold up for this next song? Seven. That's right. Because we have seven days in the week, we hold up seven fingers like this. Are you ready to sing with me? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was M. Monday. Yesterday was Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is, here's your clue, T. Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, and tomorrow will be Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday, but let's go back to today. Will you sing Today is Tuesday with me? It goes like this. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Friends, I'm going to go back up to the top of the chart where we have the season. We have been learning about the season for quite a few weeks. We have learned about the unpredictable weather during the season. We've learned about baby animals who are born during the season. 
we've learned about the plants that grow during the season, and yesterday we started talking about arthropods that are found during the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring! It's springtime where I live. And now, when we go back down to the bottom, that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Are you ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So right here, it looks like I have a picture of a cloud and the sun. It has been raining for quite a few days, but today when I look outside of my window, even though it's mostly cloudy, I can see the sun shining through just a little bit. The sun is trying to come out from behind the clouds, even though it's mostly cloudy. My temperature chart is on orange because it's going to be a pretty warm day where I live. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Have you been getting a lot of rain? Look outside your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. Are you ready to move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week? Let's do that. Yesterday, we talked about this letter. This letter says, qua, qua. Can you make that sound? Qua, qua. And do you remember what letter this is called? Q. This is a lowercase q. Q says qua, qua. And now let's take a look and see what's inside of the letter box today. I know that it's something that starts with the letter qua, Q. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a coin. This coin is the color silver and it's worth 25 cents. Hmm, do you know what it is? Let's see. I have a quarter. So a quarter is worth 25 cents. Do you see how it's the color silver? We learned all about quarters and other coins in our community helpers unit a few months ago. Quarter starts with the letter qua Q. This is how you write a lowercase qua Q. One more time. Yesterday, we also learned a new double digit number. Do you remember what number this is? 22. And when you write the number 22, you write the same number twice. Can you show me with your fingers what number you have to write twice? Two. Two, two, 22. I'm going to grab my piece of chalk. You can get something else to write with. And we are going to write 22 tally marks on the bottom of the board. If you don't want to write the, the tally marks, instead you can just count them with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 goes across, 21, 22. 22 tally marks. And I wonder what we'll find inside of the number box to count today. I have a bunch of pine cones. Let me grab them all out of the box. And because we have so many, I'm going to just make a pile of them on top of the box. Otherwise, they wouldn't all be able to fit if we lined them up. 
Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and one more makes twenty-two. Twenty-two pine cones. And now let's move on to the sign of the week. Yesterday I taught you a brand new sign. Yesterday we learned how to say bug in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right friends, we take our three fingers like this, we bring our thumbs to our nose and move your fingers up and down just like the antenna on a bug. Bug. Today we're going to learn about a honeybee, which is a type of an insect that has three body parts, six legs, and a pair of wings. Honeybees are extremely important to the environment because they are pollinators. That means that they transfer pollen from different plants and help them grow into flowers and fruit. Honeybees live in hives, and inside of the hives you find one female queen bee, and she lays the eggs. The drones, or the male bees, are also found inside of the hive. The worker bees come and go from the hive, and it's their job to build and protect the hive and collect the nectar and pollen from the flower, which will then be made into honey. Back in the hive, the bees bring the nectar and pollen into the honeycomb. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is what a honeycomb would look like inside of a hive. Now the honeycomb are just waxy cells and they're shaped like hexagons. A hexagon is a six-sided shape that looks like this. And the honeybees bring the pollen and the nectar into the hive and put them inside of the honeycomb and then it becomes honey. Have you ever tried honey before? What did it taste like? Are you ready to see your work for the day? Let's go check it out. For today's work, you will need some Legos, a small bowl of water, yellow food coloring is optional, and you will also need a pipette or an eyedropper. So I'm using these yellow Legos to represent the honeycomb that would be inside of a bee's hive. And then I have the yellow water to represent the pollen or nectar that the bees carry inside of the honeycomb. So for today's work, you are going to be transferring the yellow water from the bowl using the pipette and bringing it into these little small holes on the Legos. These would represent the small waxy cells that the bees build on their honeycomb. So when you use a pipette or an eyedropper, you take your thumb and your counting finger and you squeeze the top of it like this. And then you dip the bottom part into the water. And before you bring the pipette out, you let go of the top. And the water will start to come up into the eyedropper or the pipette. So we're going to transfer this nectar or pollen and begin to bring it into the bees wax honeycomb cells like this. And when you squeeze the top again, the water should come out. So we can pretend that we are bees and we come and we collect the nectar and the pollen and then we bring it back inside of the hive to the honeycomb where it will be made into honey. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Unfortunately, the honeybee population is disappearing, but we can help them by planting flowers that have a lot of nectar and pollen. Plants and flowers like lavender and yarrow and aster. Now it's also important to remember that a honeybee doesn't want to hurt you. 
and they'll leave you alone if you leave them alone. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, friends. I'll see you tomorrow.